I like football. Sports. I like sports. Five aside. Yeah. <laughs> Mermaids. This is a family show. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Queer Epiphany. Now, I don't know about you, Munro, but I'm very excited for today's guest. Please welcome Drag Race Royalty, Kitty Scott Claude. Yeah! <laughs> Now, before we get right into this, I think we should have a little drink, shall we? <gasps> oh, cheers, 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 have a good old ease up, shall we? <gasps> so, Miss Kitty, Kitty, Kitty Girl, can you show your queer epiphany with us? Of course, mm -hmm. I'd love to. So, my queer epiphany is The Little Mermaid. <gasps> Camp. I love it. It just means so much to me. Take us back. To little kitty watching Little Mermaid. Little kitty. Well, my first memory of it, it's a bit nil, so oh, go on, it's go not on. like that. Imagine. This is a turn. So <laughs> basically, my cousin, she's like five years older than me. She had it on VHS, and oh, um, on VHS. she brought it round to our house, and we watched it, and I loved it so much that I actually stole it from her. <gasps> and then she was literally like, "Where's the video?" And like, I put like a fake video, like another oh, in God. the box, sent her on a merry way. <laughs> What was it specifically about The Little Mermaid that got you going? At the time, I just loved like the music and the songs and I loved Ariel mm. and I loved the whole story of it. But then like growing up, I remember like researching for like GCSE art and I delved into this like pit of like, yeah. oh my God, it's all fully just like queer coded. And so from that point, I was just like, I'm obsessed. In terms of the coding, can we unpack that a little bit? I think the ones that like hit home the most for me are the fact that the music was done by Howard Ashman, who was a man who was living with AIDS. Mm -hmm in the 80s, living through the AIDS crisis. And if you like look at like the lyrics in part of your world and the whole like aerial storyline is so queer coded for a man who wants to be accepted by society, but has been ostracized and has been like pushed aside, been shamed for being HIV positive, which at the time was a death sentence in the 80s, which is horrible and like, now, thank God, the research has been done and we know like undetectable equals untransmissible. Yes. And it breaks my heart a bit to like watch it and like know that deep down, this is you like- what the person was going through. Yeah, 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 okay. like so sad. And then if you go like deeper than that, originally like the original Hans Christian Andersen story, it was about him falling in love with another man that he knew that he couldn't be, be with. with. Right. And so he wrote this story as a way of expressing himself and mm. his his love and like in the original story like the mermaid like jumps into the sea and she becomes sea foam and like fades off and like dies. sea foam yeah right. this economy <laughs> so through all of this did you recognize any parallels within like your own queer experiences yeah do you know i remember like being absolutely obsessed with ariel when i was growing up i was always so about ariel and then thinking like okay i feel different from my siblings mm -hmm. i don't want what they want they were all so like i like football sports, and, like, sports and, five aside yeah like playing james bond on the playstation mm -hmm. and i was like well i like barbies and then growing up realizing wow okay i'm queer mm -hmm. i'm a gay man and you realize like the parallels that like ariel was going through as being under the sea and wanting to be on the land, wanting to be up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. Mm. Mm. Growing up as a teenager, my whole goal in life was to like get to London. I was like, yeah. I know that when I'm, get, I'm gonna get to London, mm. it's all gonna work yeah. out. And like, thank God it did. But um, I remember like seeing the parallels with like my story and like Ariel's story and just knowing like, okay, it's gonna happen because mm. it can happen for anyone. And I know that it's gonna come true. Mm -hmm. Did The Little Mermaid give you that feeling that you could go and find your community? I think above anything else, it gave me like hope. Okay. Mm. That I, I knew like, okay, out there, there is gonna be a world for me and like a community that I don't even know that I'm a member of. I don't even know that I'm a queen of. Do you know what I mean? That like, but it's all out there. And like, I think that's what's so incredible about the queer community that it's just, it is so welcoming and it is for everybody. Yeah. It's not just for the gays or the Bs or the Ls, it's for the Ts, it's for the Qs, yeah. it's for the IAs, the pluses. It's for absolutely everyone. And the straights and the hetties. Like, Come on. Let's cool. not go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nonga nonga. <laughs> the family show. <laughs> so, Miss Kitty, we want to plan a party in celebration of the Little Mermaid, but we've only got 30 seconds to do it because we're very, very busy. Are you ready? Are you steady? Are you Freddy Krueger? Let's go! Right, venue. Uh, heaven. Dress code. Mermaid. Theme. Mermaid. Theme. Top guest. Uh, Kim Kardashian. Who will perform? Kim Kardashian. Party anthem. Toxic Britney Spears. Drink. Seashell cocktail. Hors d'oeuvres. 
seashells. Dip of choice. Tiramisu. <laughs> <laughs> what time will it start? 7 p.m. <laughs> what time will it end? <laughs> Till late. Wow. Ding, 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 ding. ding, 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 ding. Was that the ball? Yeah, you, you, oh, you got all the, the questions person. right. You got all the questions. Oh, baby. do you know what? I just get so stressed with like quick fire that I just say the first You get thing, it. Like, oh! <laughs> so if you could summarise the message that you took away from The Little Mermaid, what would that be? It's like embracing your queerness, embracing the fact that you are an individual mm -hmm. and being an individual is what makes you incredible and yes. special and unique. It's what makes you you. Mm. And you shouldn't dampen that and try and be a mermaid when you know you're a human being and you know you've got a cracking voice. <laughs> oh my God. And also, because it's being remade now with Halle Bailey, as Ariel. Just think about how many Game young, queer, POC people this yeah. is going to inspire and mm. let them know, like, Ariel was such a big inspiration for me. Hopefully it can be that to mm. numerous other people. Everyone can be part of that world, baby. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Kitty, my love, why do you think it's so important that we have queer storytellers telling their stories? Well, do you know, I think it's important because their stories not just for queer people, for everyone. Like, mm. I resonated with the story of The Little Mermaid when I was a child, and even though I was a queer child, I didn't know I was. I just thought, well, like, this is the way it is. Yeah. So I think the fact that it resonates with everyone and it's getting queer stories out there and like queer contributions. I'm sure when the film came out, they weren't aware that this is like a queer story. No. And it was built on a queer everything. One of the main characters is based on Divine. Like, you can't get more queer than that. Oh, no. And people exactly. still didn't get it. But still, I think it's just so important to get queer stories out there and for people to realise we are the same as everyone else. Exactly. There's nothing And also, different. we, like, contribute to society in ways that everybody else benefits from. Mm -hmm. It's time to take a look into our queer store ball. Mm. What do you see for the future of queer storytelling? Well, I want us to live in a world where queer storylines can be told and embrace all their queerness. Like, they shouldn't be queer-coded. It should be... This is this is the truth. Out in the open, in black this is and what white, it is. Plain to see. Because the thing is, it's a story for everyone. It's mm -hmm. not just mm. for queer people. It's like a universal yeah. story that everyone will relate to. Because if you think about it, as queer kids and queer youth, we are expected to understand and relate to heteronormativity all the time. Mm -hmm. But if we're not if heteronormative people aren't being presented with gay storylines and queer characters yeah. and trans characters, then they are never going to ever be in a position where they can relate to us in entertainment. Of it's course. just going to always be, well, be we're so separate. separate. Yeah, yes. so completely, 100%. Amazing. And half the time, people don't even know that something's queer, but they love it. Exactly. I am. I'm a dainty little girl and I'm really cold. Ooh, my sea foam is freezing. <laughs> Is that your aerial impression? <laughs> now, we're gonna honor your queer epiphany by inducting it into the LGBTQIA, the legendary giant book the queer epiphanies are immortalized in for always. So Kitty, to mark this momentous occasions, do you have any words to say? Well, not too many words, you've got homes to go back to, all right? To quote Britney Spears, I would like to thank all my friends at the LGBT community. I couldn't have done it without you. Ariel, thank you for singing a couple of cracking songs. It's been amazing. King Triton, poor, lock up your dads. Oh, I'm going to be jumping in the sea in no time, darling. And in the words of Elle Woods, we did it! Woo! 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 Oh, oh, nice to <laughs> yeah, go on. Oh, that's bullying. That looks good. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, babe. Thank you so much for having me, honey. Of course, anytime. And that is it for the latest delicious slice of Quipiphany. But if you need more information or support on the things that we've talked about today, just visit the sites on your screen right now. Honestly, babes, can we give you a word of advice? You have got to go and like and subscribe MTV UK across all platforms. It's the only way. Duh.